I know it's been a while. I've been working so much. I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning and I go to like three. Then I have to come home. You gotta take care of Stella. So I'm sorry. I've been so busy, but I'm going to do, I'm going to be back on here. I promise you guys, I like promise you guys, I'll be posting more and more, I promise. Before I get into today's video, which is going to be 10 beauty hacks, 10 beauty hacks, guys. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, comment, share, tell your friends, hit us up, you know, I respond back. I'm just that nice, you know? I'll respond back to you guys. Comment if there's a video you guys want me to do, Jay to do. Make sure you guys go check Jay's channel out. It's, her name is, it's your girl Jay. Make sure you go check it out. I'm going to put it in the description box below as well as our social media and I'll even put things that I used today in this video. I didn't know where I was going with that thought process. Sorry. But let's get into today's video. So today we are doing 10 beauty hacks for us ladies. Because, you know, who doesn't like to look good? Who doesn't like to have good skin? Good hair? You know, I would do the nails. But see, I get my nails done because I can't paint my nails. So I just go get my nails done. That's what I do. So we're going to get started with number one, going to get a new foundation, ladies. Where do you test your foundation? Do you test it on your face? Do you test it on the back of your hand? Do you test it on your wrist? Because if so, you're wrong. You're supposed to test it on your neck because your neck is your true color. Personally, me in the summertime, you know, I go, I like to lay out in the summer when I have a free moment. Or if that means, you know, going to wash my car outside, I go wash it. Get some sun, you know. Test it on your neck because that's going to be your true color. Don't test it on your face, especially especially if you're going to, like, a store, like a tester store. Me, personally, I don't like using the tester stuff because I don't know what people have on their face or anything like that. So, test it on your neck. Number two is for our hair. Ladies who have curly hair... Does your hair, after you get out the shower, you wash it, is it still kind of flat with no no volume or anything? Because I know mine is. Like, even after I put the, my product in and I'll even let it dry. I can use so much mousse in my hair, girl, and it will not put no volume in my hair. And it really makes me mad because I know my hair has volume to it. What I personally do is put my product in my hair, okay? Then I take some hairspray, spray it in my hair. And I'll go put my makeup on if I'm going out that day, you know, and I need makeup. Or I'll go get dressed. I mean, it just all depends on what, what I'm doing that day. Whatever comes next after I'm doing my hair, I will go do. Like, I'm getting dressed. Then, when I'm done with everything, I'll blow dry my hair. Flip my head upside down, and I will blow dry my hair. Not too much, but just enough where it gives it that poof. Because I don't like walking around with flat hair. This is just, for me, I don't like it. I, I don't think it looks good on me. Now, today, you know, I got my hair, you know, I look cute today. Anyways, for ladies who don't like putting heat to the hair, a, a t-shirt. Don't use a towel because it'll be rough on your hair. A t-shirt, a old t-shirt. You can go out and buy a t-shirt from Walmart. A cotton t-shirt. Cotton is good for your hair. And if you have a really bad hair problem, sleep on silk. My baby sister, she slept on silk when she straightened her hair. Sleep on silk. It's good for your hair. It'll be good for your hair. Number three is for our faces, ladies. Clean faces are everything to me. Everything. They minimize breakouts. Your pores will be clean. Just clean, let's clean our faces, ladies. Makeup. Best way, if you're in a rush to, you know, get makeup off or something... I use this. This is cold cream. Um, My family has used it for years. I mean, dating back to... I'm assuming my great-great-grandmother used it. I know my great-grandmother used it. My grandmother used it. My mom used it. They used it on me and my baby sister for dance recitals. So, it's got to be good if it's 
that many generations down, you know? And it's, yeah, this got to be good. Because it does wonders to my face. I love it. Cleaning my face with a face wash. I use Noxzema. It looks like this. Granted, you know, I've already used some. But it looks like this. Almost like you take a little and you, like, you put a little face mask on. You don't have to leave it on, but you can. Me, personally, I leave it on for about two minutes or so. And, sorry guys, I have something all over my counter. Anyways, I leave it on my, on my face for about two minutes. It gives it a tingling feel so you know it's working. Then, you know, I'll go wash it off. Then I got my, my, fa my natural beauty girl. Natural beauty is everything. Don't ever let somebody say you're not beautiful because I think you're beautiful. Jay thinks you're beautiful. And the big man upstairs thinks you're beautiful. That's all that matters. After washing our face, ladies, toner. I'm using L'Oreal right now, but I have used the um, simple one. It comes in a green bottle. Toner is, is important, especially in your T-zone. Toner, it, it cleans your pores out from what... Face wash, didn't. It'll clean your pores out and then it'll tighten them and close them up for you again. Toner is very important, night and day. Make sure you can't make sure you get some that you can use twice a day. Like like on the back of this, it tells me to use AM and PM. Some of them you won't, but make sure, make sure, make sure twice a day. Because in the morning when you wake up, you know, you have your lotion on from the night before when you moisturized your face. But then you slept. So, you know, you sweat during your sleep. So, you have sweat on your face. And a good way to refresh your face is cleanser. So, because you don't want to scrub your face every day. That's also not good. That's also prone to breakouts. Face cream. I have the pods. Well, I have the off brand pods right now because it's all that they had in the store. But usually it's the same brand as my cold cream. That's what I use for face cream. Night and day. Night, I use a little bit thicker so I know my face is moisturized for in the morning time. Morning, I'll use a thin coat. And then before I do makeup, I'll do also do like a very thin coat before I put my primer on. Face masks. These are the two that I have right now. I have the gel and scrub from Freeman. And I have a clay mask from Freeman. It's avocado and oatmeal. These are the two that I have right now. I'll do them every other day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like this one like Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then this one Monday. You know what I mean. Because I really just, you know, messed that up. But y'all know what I mean. I'm probably going to do these every other day. So that's for my facial treatments for us ladies today. Number four. Trimming our hair. Trimming our hair is very, very, very important. Every three months about, you should trim your hair because I never understood in high school how, how does my hair break from the bottom? Oh, I never understood that. How does, how does not cutting my hair make it shorter? And after a while of 20 years, I finally get it. Your hair breaks. And it goes up and it just keeps going and it just keeps going. So about every three months, ladies, we should be getting a trim. Nothing crazy, you know. I let my mom probably take, she, she knows what has to be trimmed. I let my mom do it. So every three months, number five. Number five is troubled areas on your skin that are rough or dry. My elbows, some people's knees, some people's feet. It just, I guess it depends on who you are, what kind of skin you have. But me personally, my elbows are really bad. Um, I use Palmer's Cocoa Butter. It actually really works. It actually looks really good. I do a lot at night. I do like a thick coat, especially on my feet. I mean, I don't have bad feet, but I don't like my feet being dry. So... I'll do a coat, like a, a thick coat on my feet, and I'll put socks on. You can also use Vaseline on your feet as well. I have done that before. It's good. Nothing crazy. I mean, I, I'd rather do cocoa butter because, you know, cocoa butter also smells better. 
you know so but yes let's keep our skin hydrated number six it's a actually it's kind of like a family hack that i'm gonna let you guys in on when I had went to Florida to see my aunt, she gave me an oil treatment hair. An oil, an olive oil hair treatment. There it is. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm sorry. So basically what you do is you wash your hair with just, just shampoo, no conditioner. Wash your hair with shampoo. Then you take probably like two to four t tablespoons of olive oil, olive oil. Olive oil, not vegetable oil, not canola oil, olive oil. I don't care what kind of olive oil it is. We personally, we get my, I don't know where my dad gets it from, but it comes in like a tin jar. I don't know, but olive oil. I don't want no other oil, olive oil. You put it in a pan, you let it heat up a little bit. Then you'll flip your hair over a sink, rub it in your hair. Make sure it gets all, make sure, especially in your roots, it gets in your roots, especially and on your ends. Your ends are very, 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 very important because your ends are always the driest part of your hair. So make sure we get it on our ends, ladies. Let it sit for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Wrap it up. If you have um, hair wraps, wrap it up, like the plastic ones, or what we did, because we didn't have any, we took saran wrap and wrapped it around my head. And I really wish I could have shown you guys because it was actually very, very, very funny. So you're going to leave it in for your hair about 30, 45 minutes. You're going to go take a shower. Don't put anything in your hair after that because your hair needs to soak up all that oil that it just got. Number seven. This is for my ladies who like matte lipstick the matte um i only have three right now that's what i'm trying to grab i have the nyx transylvania it's like a plum purple let me show you guys i actually really like this color because it's not too dark not too light can you guys see it with my hands all all discombobulated so that's the NYX Transylvania. Then I have the NYX. We're going to say nude because it's like Crema a la Veris Duce. I have the nude one. <laughs> this is what this one looks like. I don't know if y'all can really see that on me because it kind of. But, and then I have Kylie's, this is Coco K, this is the one I actually have on right now, but I'll show you guys on my hand as well. Coco K, That's, those are the only three I could find right then and there, because I wasn't about to search in my bathroom for anymore, but those are the three that I came across. So, you ever put it on and, you know, in the beginning, your lips feel all nice. You know, girl, looking good, lips popping. Then throughout the day, your lips start to feel like they're chapped. Carmex. Or even Vaseline, but I'd use Carmex. Carmex, take a little on your finger, put it on. That's in case, like, let's say you forgot your lipstick at the house and you got Carmex on you. Put it on. Your lips will feel hydrated again. I promise you because I've done it. I do it. I won't bring my tubes out. But I'll def I have a Carmex on me. It never fails where we are. I always have a Carmex. You guys can even message Jay and ask her. I always have a Carmex. So that's for my lips. Number eight. More than one mascara. I know it sounds crazy and everything. I know you think, oh, you only use one mascara. I personally, I use three, well, really two and a primer because it gives your eyelashes like that, that poof. Right now, I only have one on because I really wasn't going out today, but I had to go return some things that I went to the mall. I didn't know I was going to the mall, but you can use, I'd say probably three at max of mascaras, but I use a primer. I use the Clinique Lash 
building prime. This is what I use. Is it clear me? That's what that's primer. It comes out white. Well, mine's not white right now. It, mine's about tan. But anyways, it comes out white. You put it on your eyelashes, you know, primes them. Just like you need to prime your face before you put makeup on. It primes your eyelashes. Then I use the CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights. This is for this is black gold because on the packaging it had um it said for hazel eyes and my natural color is hazel eyes but depending on my mood and depending on the day and what I wear my eyes will change colors but my natural eye is hazel so I I use that then this is probably my favorite right now it's Maybelline the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express this is right now by far my favorite mascara like hands down hands down my favorite mascara it it really just widens your eyes out ladies like i love it to death it's actually very good so number nine cleaning our brushes i don't know how to stress that to you as much as i stress skincare cleaning your brush you know what i think i'm gonna do a get ready with me and a go to bed with me one day i think yep i think that's what i'm gonna do one day with you guys that's what yep i think that's yeah coming up i'm gonna do a get ready me and then go to bed with me i think that's what i'm gonna do but back to cleaning our brushes the kind of just that's what i thought of cleaning our brushes ladies <sighs> I don't know how to stress it like cleaning your brushes is like probably the most important thing out here right now like you use your brush every day brush whether it's one brush whether you have five whether you have 20 whether you have 30 your brushes need to be clean i'd say at least twice a month which would be every two weeks they need to be clean because bacteria dead skin cells germs just all build up in your brushes and that's not healthy for you to sit here and brush it on your face like no we need to clean our brushes right now i'm using the elf daily brush cleaner because i wanted to try it out if it was any good it's good but it's not good like what i have used in the past i've used like stuff from sephora mac i like mac mac was good sephora was good sephora the ladies in sephora will help you but i use sephora's brand um and if you cannot go out right now and buy um, brush cleaner, you can always use soap. But don't use dish soap. Use like hand soap because hand soap is also softer on your hands. So it'll be better on your brushes. I don't want you to use soap. I'd rather use brush cleaner. But if you have to use soap, use hand soap. You'll... They have like these little brush things with like ridges on them. And if not, I made mine one time and my mom laughed at me. I put on a clipboard and I took hot glue and I like put some dots everywhere. Then I put like some squiggles and some lines just so you know I could clean my brushes up. So you put a little soap on like, I mean like probably like that big guys. Like that big. You put a little on your brush, wet your brush and you wash it. Go like this. The best way to dry them is to hang them upside down. I know it sounds crazy, hang my brushes upside down. You can you can find ways to hang them upside down, whether they have holes in them, tie a piece of string, or just hang them upside down so they dry out and every the water won't go in this way, it'll come out this way. But that's cleaning our brushes in number ten. Staying hydrated, ladies, like I, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, drinking water is so important. It's not just important for your insides. It's also important for your skin and your face. I know me and Jay personally, back when we were in school, we were big on like sugar drinks, juice, soda, tea, coffee, like no, it's not bad to have one, one once in a while. Like, I know when me and Jay would get a headache or something, we would go get a iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks or whatever was close to us. It is so important to stay hydrated with water. It, if you drink sugar drinks all the time and you cut your sugar drink back, your intake, and you start drinking water, I promise you, you're going to see a difference. 
not only in your weight because they have nothing in them but in your skin also it'll be more hydrated and your face will actually br it'll bring out a glow to your face like I know that sounds crazy but it'll bring out like this glow and it's a beautiful glow so I just want everybody to stay hydrated I personally I don't ever leave my house without a bottle of water you go in my car bottles of water everywhere empty bottles bottles that are full and I know for a while me and Jay were driving around with like a big pack of water in <laughs> sitting in the trunk of the car because with us traveling everything you never you never know if you're gonna if you're not gonna be able to stop like I know when we were going to Miami we had left my aunt's house and we went to Miami and we were on this highway guys I promise you the highway was so long and there was nowhere to stop like it was nothing but just grass and fields like there was just nowhere to stop like it was it was something crazy but stay hydrated guys I stay hydrated for me if that's the only thing you take out of this video that I just did stay hydrated for me no I don't be box no I don't play the drums none of that <laughs> yeah guys I'm actually sitting in I have an island in my in my uh, kitchen and I'm sitting on the island because it had really good lighting in here my room was just a little too dull. I'm waiting on uh, new curtains because the curtains I have right now are dark. But that's all for today's video, guys. Make sure, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Email us, Snapchat us, message us on Instagram. Videos you want to see, questions you have anything guys we are open to anything we answer you all and we love all of you guys and i'm going to be back i don't know what my next video is going to be i don't know what i'm going to post but definitely in the future i will be doing a go to bed with me and a get ready with me and maybe i'll do a few life hacks because i got a few life hacks you know might help you all out but that's gonna be all for today folks who says that Bugs Bunny. I think it was Bugs Bunny who said that. I know he said, what's up, Doc? But anyways, let me get back to what I'm doing. I gotta go take care of Stella. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment. I love you guys. Make sure to go check Jay out. It's your girl, Jay. Go like, comment, subscribe to her, subscribe to us. I'll see you guys back later. Bye, guys.